Hello guys, good morning. Our lesson for today is about documentary scam task. So, so this is second to the last module that we have in critical tax. And today we're going to discuss this and let's start. So documentary stamp tax, uh, it is an excise tax divided on documents, instruments, loan agreements, and paper evidencing the acceptance, assignment, sale, or transfer of unpublication rights for property incident thirty. So the amount of tax I paid is based on the part or base value of the document or instrument. So here it goes. So we have different types of documentary stamp tax and the document. The first one is the original issued share of stocks. Then we have the sales agreement to sell, memoranda of sell, delivers or transfer of sales or certificate of stocks. Then we have certificate of profits, interest in property or accumulations, bank checks, draft certificate of deposit, bearing interest, and other instrument that we are going to uh, prepare a documentary stock tax. We have the debt instrument, bills of exchange or drafts, acceptance of bills of exchange and other foreign bills of exchange, and foreign credit. Then we also have life insurance policies, annuities, credit plans, certificate, warehouse receipt, proxies. We have also payment for high ally, first race ticket, lotto, or other offers that were gained. Bill of lading or receipt, powers of authority, leases and other hiring agreements, mortgages, agents, and deeds of trust, deeds of donation, conveyance, and donation of real property, except those except from the donor stocks. Then we also have charter parties and similar instruments. These are the documents that we are going to authenticate through using the documentary stamp. So let's start with the tax base. So we have the original issued share of stock. So how can we pay for it? So the rate in base is 2 pesos per 200 or fractional part thereof of the par value. So when we issue stocks, for example, we issue stocks worth 20,000. So 20,000 divided by 200 and then we multiply it by 2 pesos to get the amount of the documentary stock tax. Or the 20,000 pesos. Okay, next that we have is the sales agreement sell, memorandum of sales, deliveries, or transfer of share, or certificate of stock. So, example is 150 per 200, or fractional part thereof the par value. So, same example. So, example we have 20,000 certificate of stock, or 20,000 worth of agreement to sell, or memorandum of sell. So, what we need to do is to divide 20,000 divided by 200. So, we have 100 multiplied by 150. So, we need to pay 150 documentary stamps for the amount worth 20,000. Next example that we have is certificate of profit or interest in property or accumulations. So, the rate in base is 1 peso per 200. A fractional part thereof of the base value. So same scenario example your certificate of profit is worth 50,000. So you need to divide it by 200 and then you multiply it by 1 peso. So we have 250 pesos documentary standards. Next is we have the bank checks certificate of deposit not interest bearing interest Bank checks, draft, certificate of deposit, not bearing interest, and other documents or instruments. So, computation is 3 pesos per check or drafts of certificate. So, uh, if you have 10 uh, bank checks, so you need to pay uh, 10 multiplied by 3 pesos. So, for the uh, documentary stamp tax of certain check or draft of certificate. So it just really happen when you are dealing with the banks. And then we have debt instrument. So the base is 200 or 150 per 200 or fractional part of the issue value. 
So, value divided by 200 multiplied by 150 will be the formula for the computation of this uh, documentary. Then we have the documentary for bills of exchange or drafts, acceptance of bills for bills of exchange and debtors of credit. Petition is the amount divided by 200 multiplied by 150. Then we have the life insurance policy. So how to compute? The rate in base is if the insurance policy is not more than 100,000, then it's zero. Then you need not pay any documentary stamp tax. If it's more than 100,000 up to 300,000, then you need to pay a documentary stamp tax of 20 pesos. If it is more than 300,000 up to 500,000, you need to pay a documentary stamp tax worth 3 pesos. And if your life insurance policy is 500,000 to 750,000, then you are going to pay a documentary stamp tax of 100 pesos. And if it is more than 750,000 up to 1 million, you are going to pay 150 pesos. If it is more than 1 million, then you are going to pay 200 pesos. So the amount of life insurance policy is min max of 0 to 200 pesos. Okay. So next that we have is the annuities. So annuities, the rate in base is amount divided by 200 or base from premium or installment payment multiplied by 1 peso. Next we have is the Prenid plan. So Prenid plan is the computation will be um, this one is uh, for example you have a Prenid plan worth 100,000 or the base value of the amount is 100,000 then we divide it by 200 then multiply it by 40 cents. So how much is it? So for example our, our example is 100,000 divided by 200 pesos multiplied by 40 cents so you need to pay 200 pesos documentary stamp next example that we have is certificate warehouse receipt and proxies so those are different certificate okay so the rate in base is 30 pesos so whatever it is if it is a certificate a warehouse receipt or a proxy is then you need to pay a documentary stamp tax worth 3 pesos. Next that we have is if you win any uh, games like High Ally or Space Ticket, the Toto or other authorized numbers game, or the document be authenticated. For example, you, you win 200,000 divided by 1 peso times 20 cents. Next that we have it is the bill of lading or receipt. So the base here is if your bill of lading or receipt is 100 pesos at 1,000, then you need to pay 2 pesos for the documentary stamp tax. But if your bill of lading or receipt is more than 1,000, then you need to pay 20,000. So the min max is 2 pesos up to 20 pesos. Then we have the powers of attorney. So to be your document authenticated, then your powers of attorney should should have also stamped with documentary stamp tax. So the written base is any documents that needs to have a power of attorney need to be a documentary stamp tax worth 10 pesos. Okay. Next that we have is leases and other hiring so the rate and base of leases and other hiring agreements is first 2,000 is 6 pesos. So for every 1,000 in excess of the first 2,000 it is 2 pesos. So for example, you have 10,000 leases and other hiring agreements. So the first 2,000 is 6 pesos. And then the remaining 8,000 um, will be divided by 1,000. So 8,000 divided by 1,000. So 8 times 2 pesos so is 16 pesos. So 16 plus 6 pesos, so you need to pay 24 pesos. Okay?
Next that we have is the mortgages, pledges, and deed of trust. So the base is first 5,000 is 40 pesos. And for every 1,000 in excess of the first 5,000 is 20 pesos. So example again is uh, your mortgage or pledge amounted to 100,000. So if it's 100,000 then the 5,000 is worth 40 pesos. So the remaining 95,000 will be divided into 1,000. So 95,000 divided by 1,000 equals 95 times 20 pesos. So how much? 95 times 20. So we have 1,9 plus 40. So you need to pay a documentary stamp tax of 1,940. Next that we have is the deed of sale, conveyance, and donation of real property except those exempt from the donor's tax. So, you are going to, to purchase a land or property, then there is a deed of sale. So, the documents should have a documentary stamp tax. So, it should be authenticated by means of using a documentary stamp tax. So, the payment should be one ta uh, 15 pesos for every 1,000, the fractional thereof on the consideration of the value. For example, you buy a land for 500,000. So, 500,000 divided by... So, 500,000 divided by 1,000. So, we have 500,000 divided by 1,000. So, we have 500 times 50 pesos. So, you need to pay... 7,500 for the documentary stamp tax for the real property worth 500,000. Okay? The last documents that we have is charter parts and similar instrument. So, here it goes. Uh, it, it is not more than 1,000 tons. So, you need to pay 1,000 on the first six months and on the rest of the months will be 100 pesos per month in excess of 6 months. So, for example, um, this similar instrument is already 1 year. So, the first 6 months that uh, you need to pay 1,000 pesos for the first 6 months. For the rest or for the remaining month, you need to pay 100 pesos. So, 100 multiplied by 6 months is equal to 600 plus the 1,000. So, you need to pay 1,600. If it is 1,000 tons to 10,000 tons, you need to pay 2,000 on the first 6 months and on the remaining month, you need to pay 200 pesos. Next that we have, if the tons is more than 10,000 tons, so you need to pay for it 3,000 on the first 6 months and 300 pesos per month in excess of 6 months. So, this is the end of our discussion with the documentary stamp tax. So, again, this is Mam Chin. Thank you and God bless. And I hope you understand our lesson for today. Bye-bye!